Mr. Trump later met with Pentagon officials who outlined possible plans for sending more American troops to the Middle East to counter Iran. The president said he doubts it will come to that. And today, a stark warning, do not do it, came from the Middle East. Roxana Saberi reports from Baghdad. Days after the U.S. sent warships toward the Persian Gulf in a show of force aimed at Iran, President Trump sent a mixed message about whether the U.S. should send more troops to the Middle East. I don't think we'll need it, but if we need it, we'll, have, we'll be there in whatever number we need. U.S. officials say Iran and Iranian-backed militias in Iraq are planning to target Americans. Several of those Iraqi militias switched from fighting American forces after the 2003 invasion to fighting ISIS. Many Iraqis credit the militias with helping to defeat ISIS and with bringing peace to cities like Baghdad. But if this conflict spirals out of control, some of those fighters could go back to their earlier strategy and turn their guns on American troops here in Iraq. These streets would once again be a battle zone. Some of those militias grew into political parties, like Asaab al-Haq. Senior member Leit al-Azari says Iran has not directed groups like his to attack Americans, but they will use force if America attacks Iran or insists on keeping its troops here. He said the existence of any foreign troops in Iraq is a violation of our sovereignty. And if you ask what I mean by force, I would say ask the American leaders. They know what we're capable of doing. If America sends more troops to this region to, as they say, counter Iranian threats, the use of force is justified. We taught Americans a lesson in the past, he told us, and if they want new lessons, we're ready for this. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Baghdad.